Okay, we're looking at a 820 We've got a problem with no Wi Fi. And uh, that diagnostic port's got a little bit of grunge in it, but I don't think that's at fault. Just looking around the board quickly, there's a bit of liquid damage still, but I don't think that's at fault. I mean, that's a really nasty looking cap, but that's. Um, oh, what is. I'm pretty sure that's some 5 volt, 3 volt. Yeah, 5 volt, 3 volt S4 state. Unless that's feeding the Wi-Fi, in which case that could be a bit problematic, but then we shouldn't even get boot anyway. And something crazy is happened down here, but again, this should not be the fault. This is um, power stability. I'm just noticing now there is an absolute crap ton of liquid damage in that mesh. So I think we'll just take this board out. There's a bunch of stuff not looking quite right here and the indicators are off so I think it'd be best if we just take this out it could be one of the uh, Wi-Fi power switches on the underside which are those little blue glass looking uh, chips so we'll have a look oh, that's the wrong screw should be a big cheese head screw I think that's okay, that one. Uh, should be the shorter screw in there. Oh, here we go, here's cheese head. Alright, cheese head screw belongs there. And that screw belongs there. Fortunately on these boards, if you long screw damage this uh, fan mount, it's not a problem. There's just ground planes under there. But obviously you really don't want to get in that habit. Oops, they're one and the same. Because on other boards, it does do damage. Uh, supposedly the Wi-Fi module has been tried multiple times, different modules, so we'll assume for now that we do have an issue just getting power to the Wi-Fi. What the hell? That little bronze bridge over there is disconnected, it's broken off. It shouldn't cause any dramas, but it's just another thing. And oh no 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 this is hopefully this hasn't crimped the cables. Because if it's crimped the cables then it's gonna be Wi-Fi module USB. Oh they're f Yeah they're f I mean, okay, I, I could be wrong. Well, they're damaged. Now the question is, did it go all the way through? And, you know, is it enough to kill the Wi-Fi completely? Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, most common cause is, I'm pretty sure it's this one here. One of those often dies, but these are looking okay so I'm gonna have a look over the board see if there's anything else that looks distinctly messed up what the hell yeah well that's not going to conduct very well look at that that trace probably went from there to there and there's nothing there so let's have a look at that this is about the SMC yeah, this here Alright, so platform reset. How the hell is this thing turning on? I'm fairly sure platform reset is disconnected there. It almost looks like the platform reset trace is disconnected there, so we should have. Okay. Yeah. Oh, gee. These two are good. Yep, but 
that there and that there should be connected, so I'm gonna have to run a trace through to there. That's gone. I hope that's not a veer under there too. Hmm. What the? It's like someone's gone along with a file and... Wow, someone really has gone along with... What has been used on this? It's almost like a fiberglass pen, perhaps? It's awfully abrasive. Alright, well, we'll make that our first stop is... We'll fix up that. Sweet Bridget, that's a... Angle grinder job. Okay, first task is... Let's see what's going on with that pad. Feels kind of weird. Alright, there's no veer down there. Let's see, point one too thick.
Well, it seems like we lost the microphone for some unknown portion of time there. Anyway, okay, so it boots, which we already knew it should do, but I just wanted to verify that it was coming up good and proper. So we'll put the solid state in now. Bring it up. And in this room, we should get one uh, Wi Fi network showing up. Okay, it just seems we have life, but I don't have a password. Tippy fucking now. Okay, so my Wi Fi is working. You can see we've got the one network available. So it looks like it was that missing trace after all, which is really good. Alright, so there we go. We managed to get that one up and running again, which is nice because it's been quite a few days since I've had a clear fix, you know, complete solution going on there. And I was also glad we managed to spot the uh, platform reset issue and the display port um, issue, uh, issue on the Thunderbolt side. So that's going to go into the ultrasonic cleaner, that'll good, give it a good scrub. Then I will uh, put the UV coating over the, uh, the conformal coating over the uh, wires and it should all be good to go again for um, quite a while yet. So there you have it. Another interesting job. Came in for one thing, we found a few more while we are at it. Anyway. Take care, I'll see you all later.